All right. Dave Williams, he seems just like your average guy. He's a teacher at one of Auckland's lower SR schools and he likes running a lot so much that he's actually in a world of pain. You see, he's putting his body on the line. He's going to climb the seven highest peaks on the seven continents, but you know what? That's all been done before, so he's going to make it harder, which you mean, well, you've got to admire somebody who takes something that's already hard and makes it even harder. Anyway, Michael Holland went to find out why. Your first touch of the sea. Ready to hit it? Let's get amongst it. For teacher Dave Williams, this is success. This is amazing. This is special. Hey, I don't mind being called mad. This is tough. This has been uphill like the whole day. And if I called you masochistic, I'd take it on the ship. Lacking motivation. Knees are sore. Muscles are sore. Head's sore. Let's get it started. But to not push himself to the point of despair is simply not an option. Definitely like a bit of the carnage and a bit of the pain. As he seeks to climb the seven highest peaks on the seven continents with a unique extra degree of punishment thrown in. I'll be the first person to climb from sea level. So essentially I run, crawl, walk from the sea to the summit and climb every single metre of that mountain. Well, first one, I've done it. Mount Kilimanjaro, 440 k's. I ran from the coast of Tanzania. Mount Kosciuszko, 240 kilometers. Mount Elbrus in Russia, 210 k's from the Black Sea. Mount Aconcagua in Argentina. Mount McKinley, 300 kilometers. Mount Vinso Massif, 650 kilometers. Sending the biggest to last, Everest, 1,200 k from the coast of India. How many marathons is that? 30. You get to a certain level of pain and of desperation and of, you know, and that just kind of stays there. And then after a few days of that, that becomes the norm. In terms of passion, mountaineer or marathon man? Mountaineer. I think I do enjoy the marathons, but the climax is the mountain. I'm just really excited now and I'm keen to just get up this thing, eh? There are those immortal words from an immortal man. We've knocked the bastard off. Oh, Sir Edmund Hillary. I guess for me it'd be I've knocked the bastards off. Seven bastards. Seven bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The sort of adventure that you have to pack knowing that I'm going to be in 30 degrees heat and in minus 30. I've got where I am, where I'm going, that I can store in the GPS through my watch. All of that data's here. And there's a pig at my feet. There is a pig at your feet. Yeah, it's Gavin. He's <laughs> very curious. And Gavin, who's dog-like obedient... Good oh boy. ...well knows his favourite piece of alpine equipment. Not just for climbing mountains. Gavin Scratcher. <laughs> Loves it. But best we don't get distracted by grunter Gav. There's some serious last-minute training to be done. My challenge to you, a three Auckland volcanic cone odyssey. Are you up for it? I'm 100% up for it. All right, Mount Richmond, Otahuhu, elevation? 30 metres. Let's go. Oh, this is the easy one, a bit like uh, Mount Kosciuszko. On the baby one. They ain't got no muscle, no hustle, no backbone. I stand alone, not tripping. Bottom of Mount Wellington. Ain't hanging on to the... That's a steeper one. Yeah, it definitely got the calves warm. Heck, oh, you ain't holding your breath next, I'm out here. You'd go a long way to get a bit of sunset than that. One to go. One to go. 230 metres at the top. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> well, clearly it's taken us all day. But if you can knock off three of my summits, seven of the world's tallest, will be a cinch. Yeah, Best like that. So. Thank you very much. You give it a good Kiwi crack. Good for you, mate. Cheers. Oh, that's interesting, because Michael was a wee bit worried. He wrote to me earlier on this afternoon, uh, and he said, uh, don't make fun of me in my shape at the end of the program, it's but I'm looking shape. at exactly. I'm looking at that going because because of Tim Wilson and his nudity earlier in the week. <laughs> yeah. Tim's way worse, way <laughs> worse shape than uh, Michael. Show. Michael Holland's looking fantastic. Yeah, yeah. See how puffed he was there, yeah, and the exactly. other guy wasn't. Right. Okay. I'm um, the other guy being Dave. Actually, teaches at Michael's old school Edgewater College in Pakaranga. Now he is on the plane tonight to take on Mount Elbrus in Russia. That's target number three of seven. He's already bowled Kilimanjaro and Mount Kosciuszko. And Dave's quest isn't just for self satisfaction really. He's raising money for male mental health in memory of two of his friends who took their lives recently. Good stuff.